What's up guys? So you are probably reading the title of this video and wondering what the heck is going on, right? As most of you know, I have been in prep for what would be my seventh show of the season. <laughs> My original plans were to start my off season after my last show, which was on September 3rd. Then I found out that the Iron Games was coming up on November 12th, and so I said to myself, come on, let's just push. Let's just push for one more show, one more show. And so I decided after that September 3rd show that I would do it. I'd push for one more, and I'd get on stage on November 12th at the Iron Games. And every single day since that September 3rd show, every day of this prep, something just hasn't felt right. Something has just felt off. My mind hasn't really been in it 100%. My heart has most definitely not been in it 100%. And I just haven't really been feeling like me. My mood's been affected. As you guys may know from watching some of my previous videos, my anxiety levels have been a lot higher. And I've been doing a lot of reflecting and self-thought over the last few days. And I think a lot of that was surrounding the fact that I knew deep down that my heart was not 110% in doing this show. I told myself from day one of my journey, from the very first time that I started competing, that the moment something became unenjoyable for me, the moment that I realized my heart wasn't in it was the moment that I needed to take a step back. Thinking back on the very beginning of my season, when I had my best placings ever as a pro, I started my season off with a second place finish and a third place finish, and those were by far my best placings as a pro. And when I think back to the beginning of my season, I was so excited. I was confident. I got on stage at every single one of those shows feeling confident feeling like what I was bringing was a winning package and I was excited. I felt the fire inside me and those are things that I'm just not feeling right now and that is how I know that doing this show is just not the right thing to do right now. I was continuing on this prep the whole time knowing it wasn't right because I was scared that I would let people down. I was afraid of letting my coaches down, I was afraid of letting friends down, I was afraid of letting you guys down. And then I really thought to myself, Karen, your happiness does not revolve around the expectations of others. Your happiness revolves around doing things that you are passionate about, that you feel a fire inside for, and that you feel excited about. And I know that now is the time for me to shift my focus on other things and that I'll be able to come back next season feeling that confidence and that excitement and that fire that I've felt at the beginning of this season. And so really I just wanted to share with you guys where I'm at with all of this right now. I hope that you guys will understand and that maybe you can relate and that you'll continue to support me because your support really does mean the world to me. I know that this is by no means the end of my competitive career. Competing is not just a hobby for me. Competing is something that drives me, that I am so passionate about, that literally makes me feel alive. I know that when I get on stage, I need to feel those things. I don't want to ever get on stage just to get on stage. I want to get on stage with the fire inside me burning, with the confidence that I know could win a show. And come next season, probably March, um, for the Arnold Classic Australia, I know that that will be there. So here we are at day one of off season. <laughs> this will seriously be the first off season that I've really ever taken since 2012. I know that I need to do this in order to bring the improvements that could potentially win a show. Here we are at day one of off season, day one of what I like to call improvement season. So you guys will 110% still be seeing all of my workouts. You'll be seeing all of the effort that I'm putting into this improvement season and what my plan of attack is to make these improvements. I'm gonna take you guys along with me through everything. I also wanna show you guys how I balance life too. Off season is a time to, yes, make the improvements that you need for your next season, but it's also a time to enjoy life. And so I wanna show you guys how I go about doing that and how I balance my goals and how I balance just living and having fun. 
So I'm really excited for this next chapter and these next six months of improvement season and to take you guys all along with me through it all. I feel such a weight and a relief off of my shoulders and that is how I know that I'm making the right decision. And I hope that you guys can just take a message from this that no matter what you do in life, make sure that it makes you happy, that you are passionate about it, that whatever it is that you're doing makes you feel alive. And if it does those things for you, then you are doing the right thing. Thank you guys so much for listening. I am gonna get ready to head to the gym, my first off-season workout. I'll be taking you guys along with me through everything, through the diet changes, through the training style changes, through living life. I appreciate you guys so much for being here. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel so that you can see everything that's to come, and I will catch you guys next time.